everyone. Welcome. Let's do a little bit of airplane yoga. I want to start though with some of the basics. Carry on luggage. If there's a place in the overhead bin, go ahead, place that luggage right in that overhead bin. Get it out of the way just to create a little bit of space for your feet. Now somewhere around 20,000 feet, you're going to hear four chimes. And that typically means that the internet is going to, um, is going to start working at any point in time. Now over the ponds, you're going to lose it. So if you're able to download the video, you might want to. But if you're just crossing the U.S. or state to state, you shouldn't have too many issues. But if your flight has Wi-Fi, you should be able to, to see this video. It's the holidays. They're stressful. There's so many events. There's travel. There's family. Um, there's crowds. A lot of stuff going on. And if you're already on the plane now, you've probably been through the ringer today between delayed flights, connections, checking the baggage, security, trying to grab food, and trying to just get on the plane and get settled in. None of it is very fun. And especially around the holidays, it's especially not fun um, for, for most of us. So just know that once you're in that seat, you have now created your own little space and you can take a little time out for some self-care. Probably get a little bit of narrative from me here because I was a Delta flight attendant, hence that tote bag. Retired in uh, around 2015, maybe? It's been a while. But I will tell you from experience, they don't want you doing yoga in the galley. So I'm doing them a huge favor here too. I'm going to show you how to do yoga right in your seat. So a little chair class, because that's what we have to work with. The seatbelt sign is on, you're going to have to keep that seatbelt on, so you might be limited. And depending on the people on the sides of you, you're going to have to be mindful of that as well. So all of the postures might not work for you, but um, you can modify for that little bit of space that you have purchased for, for the flight. You're going to want to make sure that you have your earbuds in. Don't want to be blasting yoga for everyone on board. You're going to also make sure that you're present here, aware of your surroundings, the people around. Flight attendants will be coming through with carts, with coffees. We don't want to be spewing out into the aisles and getting our elbow hit or hitting someone as they're passing by. So let's start with just a little bit of grounding here. You can probably feel a little bit of vibration beneath the feet. Got cabin sounds. Most are unfamiliar. Announcements being made. Might take a peek out the window just to see as you're passing through the clouds. Just going to take a little bit of time. Go ahead and rest the eyes. 
or if you're stressed or anxious, maybe a nervous flyer, just a light gaze, maybe on the carpet just in front of you. But just going to notice what's going on with the body right now. Shoulders might have been at the ears. You might feel a little tension there. Maybe you're on your second or third flight. That lower back thing is starting to kick in. Tired of sitting. But just noticing any tension in the body right now. I'm wanting to make it worse, so we're just going to bookmark it right here. Not judge it. Most of us hurt a little bit when we're traveling, especially for extended periods and days. And then checking in with that headspace. What's going on there? Lots of activity, wondering if your bags were on board. I know with Delta, if you have the app, you can just tap on it and it'll tell you if your bags are on board. One less worry. But that headspace, maybe it's Maybe you've had three fights with your family already and you aren't even there. Maybe the kids are crying. Can't do anything about that. Just going to deal with what we have right here. Everybody will settle in. And the nervous flyers. Just going to have that light gaze. And the breath, noticing what it is right now. If you ran from terminal to terminal. It's probably a little quicker here. We're going to try to slow the breath down and grow it just a little. Through the nose, through the mouth, doesn't matter. Just a little bit bigger, just a little bit deeper, just a little bit slower. Just slowing down all of that travel momentum here. Turn this area where we have no control into a little space where we can feel a little bit better. I want you to start to extend the spine a bit here. So kind of coming forward, not leaning onto the back of the seat there, and just hands to the front up to the top of the lap. Going to pull the shoulders down and away from the ears. Going to pull the crown of the head toward the ceiling. And just going to take some big breaths, relax the system a bit. Next, exhale. I want you to keep those shoulders down. I want you to send the right ear in the direction of that right shoulder. I want you to move slowly, noticing any tension. Not trying to go as far as you can go with the neck here. The body's natural boundary is where your body needs it. It's going to tell you, it's going to stop you. Next, exhale, chin in the direction of that right collarbone. Move slowly, 
That ant might have put some tension in that neck. Screaming kids. Going to try to tune them out. Focus on the neck. Focus on the breath. Relaxing the shoulders again. Making sure that spine is straight. Let's inhale that head back upright. Inhale, exhale, just to reset. Next, exhale, left ear in the direction of that left shoulder. Noticing if this side is different, often carry more tension in one side. Next, exhale, chin in the direction of that left collarbone. Noticing that process, all that movement along the way, how it feels. Sending those big breaths. Calming that nervous system. Creating space. Let's inhale that head back up to center. Now that you're forward a little off the back of that seat. If I didn't mention it, just take that seat belt, loosen it up a little bit. Definitely keep it fastened if, if the sign is on. But keeping it loose is okay, so you can have a bit of movement there. Gonna just inhale, exhale to reset. Next exhale, gonna round the shoulders forward might take the hands a little further down the legs here. Creating space, stretching that upper back, inhaling, opening up those shoulders, sending them back down away from the ears. Exhaling, sending them forward again. Going to move to the rhythm of your own breath here. Just finding form. Don't want to round or curve that lower back. All of this movement is in the upper back and shoulders. And when you're ready, Finding yourself back with the shoulders pulled down and away from the ears. The spine nice and long here, neck nice and long. We're going to take the hands, we're going to clasp them, and we're going to send the palms in the direction of those overhead bends. Relax the shoulders here. Reaching toward those bends, sit bones are rooted. Might need to give that tailbone just a little bit of a tuck and find that arch creeping in. Last big breath here. And then we're just gonna release, bringing the hands back down to the lap. Let's get a little bit of movement with those hands now. They've probably been carrying suitcases, clenching the steering wheels, just really busy today. Let's give them a little bit of movement. We're going to inhale. We're going to extend the hands and the fingers as wide as we can. And we're going to exhale. We're going to clench the hands back into tight fists. Going to move to the rhythm of the own breath here, of your own breath here. Focusing on the hands, focusing on the breath, how 
does it feel? Still sitting tall. Last one here. Keep them extended. One big inhale and exhale. And then we're going to take them back down to the lap. We're going to take right here, we're going to take our right foot, right ankle, we're going to cross it over that left knee. We're going to check in here. We want to first check in with this right knee. Anything showing up here, pulling, tugging, any sensation more than mild in that knee, going to take that bottom foot, just scoot it out a bit until that resistance in that knee fades. We're going to take both hands to the front of the shin. We're going to inhale, extending tall. We're going to exhale. We're going to start to hinge forward. We're not going to round or fold. Travel really does a number on the back for a lot of us. So you want to avoid rounding and folding as much as possible. So we're going to keep that spine nice and long here. Just breathe big into that right hip. Keep pulling the crown of the head forward. Keep those sit bones rooted to the seat. Inhale, assessing. Exhaling. Exploring depth, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. And just breathing big. Next inhale, let's bring that head right back up to center. Let's take the right hand to the right ankle, left hand. We're just going to use to give a few slow circles on that right ankle. Clicking or popping or grinding, you're going to make that circle smaller. We want to create space between the bones, not collapse them. Let's reverse the direction. And then pausing and releasing that foot. We're going to, from here, we're just going to take this right knee. We're going to cross it over the left. Left foot going to stay on the ground, sole of the foot just flat. We're going to take the right hand. It's going to go right behind us on the seat somewhere. Might be a little bit awkward. Might be able to scoot up a little. Again, just going to work with the opportunity you have right here. But let's take that left hand right outside that right knee. Inhale, extending tall. Let's go ahead and rest the eyes. Exhaling, twisting right. Breathing big here. You're only twisting as far as you can maintain that extended spine. Going to keep those eyes closed so you're not staring right at someone that you might not know. Unless they join in with you. Let's just keep things very polite. Last big breath here. And then just gently bringing that hand back around. Let's call the airplane boundary these armrests. Let's try not to cross them into others' space. Going to go ahead and uncross this right leg. 
scoop forward just a little if you can, or if the seat belt sign is on, just remember this one, and when it's off, you can return to it. Scooting forward on my seat, I'm gonna take my right foot, and I'm gonna to try to kind of put it underneath my own seat. So kind of leaning a little forward here, looking for just a stretch on the front of that right ankle, maybe that shin. Last big breath here. Let's bring that right foot back to meet the left. Let's just kind of reverse that. Let's take this left foot. Let's go ahead and send it under the seat if we can. Just applying a little bit of pressure to get a stretch on the front of that ankle. Let's check in. Notice if we're sitting up nice and straight here in the seat. Last big breath here. And then scooting that foot back out, parking it right by the right. Just one inhale, exhale to reset. Now we're gonna take that left ankle, we're gonna cross it over the right knee Right toes are forward. First thing to check in, left knee. Anything showing up, let's scoop that bottom foot forward. We're gonna go hands to the front of the shins here. We're gonna inhale, extending tall. We're gonna exhale, maybe finding a hinge forward on this side. Breathing big at the body's first boundary even if it's not the same as the last side. Brand new side, brand new body. Might feel very different, especially if there's any imbalance in the hips. Just a side note there, when you find an imbalance from side to side in the hips, sometimes that comes with a knee injury as well. So noticing those side-to-side -side imbalances is, is really important. And when you find them, the general rule is to spend about 50% more time on that side. And let's just face it, you don't have a whole lot of choices right now. May as well work on those imbalances. En route to your final destination. Last big breath here. We're gonna inhale back up to center, crossing that left knee over the right slowly. We'll take that right hand right outside that left knee, left hand right behind that hip. Inhale, extending tall, pull the shoulders down. Exhaling, twisting left. Closing those eyes. Don't be that guy that they're telling their families about at Christmas dinner. Big breaths, straight spine, long back, long neck. Last big breath here. And then we're gonna gently unwind. We're gonna uncross that left leg. And we're gonna keep the feet or the ankles just just beneath the knees here. Still forward on the seat. We're not leaned back, slumped, rounded. We're extending. Hands to the front of the legs here. Might even scoot the feet out just a bit. 
Inhale, extending tall. Exhaling, hinging forward. Might apply a little pressure to the front of the legs here or shins. Going to pull the crown of the head forward, pulling it opposite of those sit bones. Breathing big, sending those big breaths right down the spine. Last big breath here. And let's inhale that torso right back up to center. Those feet are kicked out a little. Let's just go ahead and bring those ankles, square them up right beneath the knees. Now we're gonna take, we're gonna take our fingers and we're gonna place them in our lower neck just so they're, they're barely touching you. If you have long arms here, if those elbows are approaching on their territory, you're gonna, you're gonna scale back or out just to be respectful. You'll get the stretch a different way. I'm gonna create several videos. But those fingertips, lower neck, next exhale, Make sure that tailbone's tucked or pelvis is tilted forward. Next, exhale, chest in the direction of the ceiling, elbows and shoulders moving back. Sending big breath into that open chest. Leaving some of that travel anxiety, travel stress. Calming the system. Let's take them a bit higher and let's clasp. Bring those elbows forward. Relax the shoulders. Let's make the neck long here. Next, exhale. Chin in the direction of the chest. You don't want to push on the head or apply any pressure. Just gravity, the natural weight of the arms. Breathe big here. Notice any differences side to side. Maybe you feel it more on one side. Last big breath here. And then we're going to inhale that head back up. We're going to just bring those hands over the head, still clasped. Might have to scoot back on the seat a little. Next exhale, we're going to send the knuckles toward the wall in front or the seat in front. Opening up those shoulder blades, that upper back. All the rounding here should be in that upper back. Be mindful of that lower back and middle back. One more big breath here. And then we're going to take the hands. We're going to flip them. We're going to send this, the palms in the direction of the seat or wall in front. Still pulling those shoulder blades back. Last big breath here. And then let's inhale one more time, sending those palms in the direction of the overhead bends. Careful not to hit that call bell. If you hit that call bell, just hit it one more time. It'll go off. Last big breath here. And then we're just going to gently bring those hands right back down to the lap and relax the shoulders down and away from the ears. Let's give the shoulders a few rolls back, moving slow, clicking, popping, grinding, smaller. And now forward.
and then just pausing right there at center. Let's give that tailbone a little bit of a tuck, still not leaning back in the chair here. But we're going to take both hands, we're going to put them right behind, actually as wide as you can. My chair is a little narrow, yours probably is too, right? But still, just trying to get them right behind. I'm going to get a little bit of a grip on the seat, and I'm going to keep my elbows just off of locked. So soft elbows, palms gripping, fingers gripping. Next, exhale, chest in the direction of the overhead bends. Shoulders moving back, elbows moving back. Sending some more of those big breaths right into the chest. Last one. And then gently releasing those forward. Let's send the feet out front long. If you can, slip your shoes off. Let's be mindful of that as well. Don't do it if you're barefoot, please. And put them back on before you leave the room. Don't go, don't go sock-footed, barefooted anywhere on this airplane, no matter what airline you're flying. You will get shamed. We're going to take the feet. It might be nearing the seat in front of you. Maybe not if you've, if you've got a, one of those with a lot of leg room. But we're just going to point and flex the toes and the ankles and the feet. Let's take the toes, try to spread them apart, wiggle them around. We don't get a lot of circulation in the feet. So some movement in those feet daily is like a really good thing. Just moving them around, turning them, maybe soles toward one another, maybe apart. Just finding that there. And then eventually we're turning them back down to your sides here. Just going to reset shoulders down and away from the ears. Just a few big breaths. Notice how your body's feeling now. Notice if that anxious or stressed or even scared mind has lessened a bit. Kids might be quiet now. People have settled in for movies. So maybe things are starting to feel a little more peaceful in this space. Let's take the feet. Let's just bring them a little closer to the chair, just so we can go up onto the toes here. Getting a stretch on those toes. Breathing big. Let's bring those heels down. Let's take the right foot and let's just send, like tucking the toes so that we're coming onto the top of the toe. We're not sending it beneath the seat this time. We're just looking for a stretch in the, in the toes here. Last breath here. Always scale back if you feel any cramps setting in. This time, we're going to send those left toes, tuck it right under or on top. Big breaths right into that foot. Last big breath here. And then bring
bringing that left foot back to meet the right. Only going to do one or two more here, but hands are right here, top of the lap. Spine is long, neck is long. We're going to start to draw salt smoke. We're going to start to draw small circles on the ceiling with the crown of the head. Not looking for a big roll here. We're looking to find the extension in every part of the circle. So every part you want to make your neck as long as it can be. Clicking, popping, grinding, make it smaller. Let's reverse the direction. Keep those breaths going when you're focusing on that circle. Breathing's typically the first thing to go. Just bring it back. And then resting here at center, shoulders pulling down and away from the ears, tailbone tucked. Let's just take the right hand, let's send it out front. And let's take the left hand, let's just give a gentle push to the top of the hand. Getting a bit of a stretch on that right wrist. Maybe you feel it in the forearm. Last big breath here. Let's take that hand. Let's send the fingertips toward the ceiling. Reposition that left hand. Gentle pull towards the body. Then we're going to take the fingers and we're just going to kind of apply a little pressure, sending them each back. We're not looking to pop them. We're just looking to reverse that forward momentum, all of that gripping we do. We're just countering it. Keep those breaths going. Don't forget the thumb, just a little bit of movement there. And then we will take each one individually forward, one at a time. And let's experiment with that other side. See if we see any differences here. First, taking that left hand out, sending the fingers toward the floor. Right hand, gentle push. Big breaths, noticing if this side is any different at all. Sending those fingers toward the sky, using that right hand, gently pull back on that wrist. Just be careful with these joints. Joints only talk to us in whispers. They're not like those big muscles. And then releasing, taking each finger individually. Get that thumb. Mm 
and then forwards. And then gently releasing those hands right back down to the lap. Being mindful, taking a look back, taking a look forward. Want to avoid injury with those carts. Want to be ready when the flight attendants get there. A little bit of rule of thumb, little trick. If you order coffee, tell them how you like it. Not just regular coffee, two sugars, two creams. They'll like you a lot more. A few big breaths. Checking in with that body once more, how it's feeling now. And then we're just going to gently relax. We're going to scoot back. We're going to sit back a little bit calmer now. And we're going to relax. And we're going to enjoy the flight. Welcome aboard. Happy holidays. I hope that you have safe and fun travels and just super fun visits with family and friends. See you maybe next year.